Hi guys, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building my magical portal of dreams. Yes, a fully functional, working, magical portal in the game. When you go through this portal, you will end up in the magical realm, the world that came with the realm of magic back. Of course, in this video, I will explain you all about how to create these portals in your own game, how they work. And of course, you can see how I will make this yeah, very dreamy portal with a crumble down mountain all over it. So let's just jump right into this video. There were a couple of things that inspired me to make this magical portal today. Main inspiration, you guys, sound so cheesy but true. I do a lot of floating builds. I love making very creative builds and some of them are floating. For example, my birdcage last video and that Star Wars build I did last week. That yeah, spaceship house, both floating builds. And I always want to make my builds functional, but these floating builds can only be accessed if you use a teleportation cheat. I talked about the cheat before, it's very easy to do. Unlock your cheat box, Ctrl Shift C, type in testing cheats true. And after that, the way you hold Shift and you click somewhere in the world or in your floating house, for example, you can teleport your sim there. It's a very easy cheat to, do, to use. But there's another way to travel to these floating builds as well. And I always get comments about that. You can use the portals that came with the realm of magic pack. There are several types of portals. You have portals to yeah, travel from the one to the other. So you can place two in your builds and you can travel from the one portal to the other. But you have one and you can travel with that portal to the magical realm. And of course, I will use that in this build as well. And yeah, I always get comments about these portals and I never really, yeah, I knew they existed, but I never really dived into how they worked in the game. So in this build, I wanted to investigate these portals a little bit more. I wanted to find out if they were really functional. So of course you can see that all over here. I'm building it in a Sulani, in a tropical world. I thought it would be fun to make this portal in a totally different world than the magical realm. Because you want to travel to the magical realm and you want to go through this portal. And yeah, I started thinking about certain types of games, RPGs, and I thought it fitted the best in a tropical world. And I love, I am in love, and I talked so much about that in previous videos as well, with the evening lights in Sulani, in this world. The golden hour, when the moon sets and the sun rises. No, when the sun sets and the moon rises. <laughs> you have that... Yeah, that golden hour and it gives just a gorgeous glow over the entire lot and over the entire world that pink and the peach and yeah it looks kind of magical so that's why i'm building it over here and i'm actually building it on a lot that i never really used before normally when i want to take advantage of the amazing views here and amazing light here i always use another lot with a more open view but you don't have the light from the perfect spots on that lot I always want to build a lot with the light from the front so you can see very good what I'm doing in my builds and it's the best for screenshots and for intros and everything as well. That other lot that I always tend to use has the light from the back and yeah, I love the view of the entire lot with the open yeah, ocean everywhere, but this one is way better when it comes to light. So that's why I'm building it over here. And of course, I've started this build off by creating this very, very dreamy portal. I actually had two inspiration pictures next to me while I was building this one. This one, I started with this picture. You can see it now on your screen. This was my, 
uh, yeah, main inspiration picture. I thought it looked so Lord of the Rings and so magical and yeah, amazing. So I wanted to use it, but I wanted to uh, do a little bit less rocks all over the thing. I didn't want to make this into a massive thing on a 64 by 64 lot because I wanted to use this lot in this world. So I knew I had to make it a little bit smaller. So I combined the idea of that picture with this picture. Very creepy almost, a little bit futuristic, a little bit spacey. I combined these pictures kind of together in this build. But that first inspiration picture, I started with that one next to me to create this, yeah, this portal, this very dreamy portal. And the most important objects to create this portal were definitely the ruin parts that came with the Get Together Pack. The Get Together Pack is quite old and it comes with an amazing world called Windenburg. It's kind of European, German maybe, a little bit Aus Austrian. And there are a lot of very cool crumble down ruin items with that pack as well. They are debug items, so you have to use a double cheat, bb.show hidden objects, bb.show live edit objects. But then you get, I think, six or seven different ruin types, and I use them a lot in this build. You can see these crumble down pillars in the middle of the portal. And yeah, you can always make a drinking game out of this video. How many times I will say portal. <laughs> But yeah, that's obvious for a portal build. But you can see these pillars crumble down in the middle of the portal. And I will use these crumble down ruins later on as well. When I will create yeah, the, a crumble down mountain all over this build. But definitely the most important items for this build. And the color of these ruin parts was uh, were the inspiration for the color scheme for this build or for this part of the build. I wanted to keep it yeah pop of your uh, pop out of your screen. I wanted to make it pop out uh, of the rocks that I will put in later on. So I didn't want to make it too dark. And you cannot change the color of these ruin parts. So I just went with that type of color. Another very important item in this build or items were the amazing lights that came with the Star Wars pack. Yes, I'm mentioning these lights again. I talked about them during my previous video and the video before that, but I'm just in love with the lights as well that came with the Star Wars pack. They are so cool and you can use them for steampunk builds. I used an extremely sized up version in the birdcage build I did last week. But you can use them for these classical builds like this as well. Magical builds, you can use them just everywhere. And of course I use them a lot too. This floating orb, I just thought it gave the entire thing a little bit more magic. So that's why I placed it over there. It's a fountain actually, and it came with a spa day pack. And I used it before in that spaceship Star Wars build as well. Now I'm starting on the mountain or these floating rocks everywhere. And to create these rocks, I made a combination of two types of rocks. The new amazing debug rocks that came with the Star Wars pack. Yes, again, that Star Wars pack. I think I'm going to use the build and my items of the Star Wars pack so much because I love extreme builds so much and a lot of extreme items. But I combined them with these rocks. You can see them right now, the rock that I'm placing in right now. That's a rock that came with the Realm of Magic pack. And the cool thing about these Realm of Magic debug rocks is they look very cool at the bottom as well. So I can use them very good for floating rocks. You don't normally have a flat bottom. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct term, but normally rocks are flat at the bottom. And these amazing rocks from the Realm of Magic pack. They are very cool shapes at the bottom as well. So they looked amazing as floating rocks. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit over, uh, about something else as well. Did you all uh, saw that PlayStation showcase last Wednesday? For me, it was Wednesday night, but I'm from the Netherlands, of course. But they released, they announced the price of the new PlayStation, the PlayStation 5, and that you could pre-order and a couple of new games. And I'm so excited about it. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it a little bit, a little bit. $3.99 for the discless version. 
Oh, I was amazed. I thought it would be way more expensive. Of course, $3.99 is a lot of money, but I thought it would be way more expensive. But I was the most excited about the new Harry Potter RPG, Harry Potter Legacy. You can make your own wizards and there's a whole world outside of Hogwarts as well. The trailer looks a little bit like a combination between Hogwarts and The Witcher. Oh my god, these two together, I was so hyped. They showed gameplay of the uh, new Demon Souls remake, so amazing as well. They showed a new trailer from Resident Evil 8 Village, oh, I'm so excited too. And there's coming a new God of War, and that's the bridge the connection between this build and that story about the playstation showcase the new god of war oh my god and i think the portal like this could fit in the god of war and the new god of war game as well or the previous one the, the one that came out the new one will come out in 2021 and will uh, be called i think god of war ragnarok oh well the previous god of war game i think this build could fit over there as well. But I was just so excited about these new games and the price of the PlayStation. And yeah, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. But let's go to this build. While I was talking about that, I made that portal. I placed that portal in this build with uh, yeah, that, that magical realm portal, of course. But you, uh, you can find them amongst your debug items when you go to, through all your debug items and you section them down in the realm of magic debug items. At the very bottom you have these different type of portals. And the portal that I placed in just at the back of the massive gate that I've built. I placed it just at the back and I placed it on a deck and I placed stairs next to it so your sim can walk through the portal, through the big gate that I've built over these stairs and just go through the magical portal and in that way you can interact with that magical portal and you can travel to the realm of magic back but you have the very cool green blue glow in the front of that portal as well and it was actually very very easy to achieve that look I used glowing orbs, debug items as well. You can find them amongst the realm of magic debug items. There are three colors. This very cool blue green one, aqua maybe, green or uh, whatever, a purple one and a yellow one. And I combined two together. I placed one a little bit lower, one a little bit higher. And in that way I created yet yeah, a really magical look in the front of this magical portal. So that's how I've created it. Now I just tweaked a little bit uh, on the interior. I placed some other things in the interior. You can go in this gate as well, but there's not that much going on inside. There's a cauldron, so you can practice your spells there and some candles here and there, but it's, I, I had the space there, so I wanted to fill it up, but I could just as easily uh, left it empty. But if you go here and if you want to travel to the magical realm, you can go into the gate as well. Now I'm placing in some flowers, some finishing touches here and there. I wanted to make it a little bit more magical in that way. The lilies, the water lilies that you can see in the water, of course, they're a debug item too. Base game debug item. Where you uh, go to the debug items is at the very top of the debug items, so you don't have to search that long if you're looking for them. I place some palm trees in, debug palm trees as well. They are a little bit more straight than the normal palm trees that we have, so I thought they fitted a bit more in this build. I wanted to keep it a little bit more fresh. And I tried some things with the normal palm trees too, but yeah, I wanted to keep it a little bit more light, so that's why I use these palm trees. And yeah, then we're on the end, we're already into the outro. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought about this build. If you have some requests for me to build, please let me know in the comments as well. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. I love to experiment in my builds. I love to try out very different things. So if you like that, please subscribe. I will be back uh, next Tuesday with my new video. I really hope to talk to you then. Have an amazing day or an amazing weekend or whatever. <laughs> talk to you next Tuesday. Goodbye.